Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another TJ Maxx makeup shop with me video. I feel like every single week just gets better and better. I don't know how this is happening, but I just can't believe these TJ Maxx finds. They are crazy right now, and I know a lot of you guys are finding the same things, and I always get tagged as well by you guys when you find exciting stuff, and I love to see what you guys are finding as well. So this week we found even more Milk Makeup brand new products, exciting things. We saw a bunch of Becca, some Resocks, but some really cool new items. And then we also found Lime Crime and Anastasia. So it's a really good week. You guys wanna watch the whole video. So let's just go ahead and get to shopping. Found another piece from the First Aid Beauty birthday collection last year. Super cute packaging, and this is actually their Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I don't think we have seen this one here before, but it is here because of the limited edition packaging. This is for $14.99. It's one of their best primers. Everyone seriously loves it. It has amazing ingredients as well, so wanted to point that out. And then I found this Becca little kit. It says, get that Becca glow. It comes with a backlight priming filter mini. And then it looks like, I'm trying to figure out what, I think this is a full size as well. So maybe get two of those. Yeah, full size and travel size of the backlight priming filter. I don't know if we've seen the full size here by itself. So this is pretty cool. This is only $9.99, so amazing deal. I hope we can find more Becca stuff this week. This store also has more Sigma brushes. I wanted to point out there's seriously so many. This is the B12 Bent Liner, so it's angled, which is kind of cool. I feel like that would make it a lot easier to put your eyeliner on if you're using a gel. This is $5.99. We also have the E60 Large Shader. This one I don't think we saw. This is the E55 eye shading. I might pick this up. This is $6.99. This is my favorite lid color brush for a shimmer. It is seriously the best. It's the cream color brush. You could also use this with like uh, cream eyeshadows, cream pots, stuff like that. Amazing to see this here. E58, this is for $6.99. Definitely grabbing a backup of that. See another a cosmetics product. This is the Bye Bye Redness. It says redness erasing correcting powder in porcelain beige is the color. This is $14.99. I almost missed this, but it's actually a new Stila product. I was not expecting this. Usually this looks like the glitter and glow, so I don't really like pay attention to their stuff that much, but this is actually the Pixel Perfect Concealer from them. The shade is light medium. It is $5.99 here. Really cool. I'm super curious about this. They only have one, so maybe we'll see a few more here in the future. I'm starting to look more in detail at the Stila stuff to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm pretty sure this is a new shade in their Heaven's Hue Highlighter, which is one of their cream highlights. It's like a bouncy texture. This is in Transcendence, and it's $7.99. It looks like a fun, maybe holographic shade. Of course, they do have bronze, as usual. I think... Those are all the shades they have right now. And then I see they put a ton more MAC lipsticks out, which I feel like uh, we saw most of these shades already, but let me see if we have some new ones. This is in Bronx. I definitely have not seen that one yet. $7.99. It looks like they have most of the shades here. I had to find them at like all different stores last week. I don't think I've seen this one yet. This is in Paramount Satin Lipstick. They also have D is for Danger here. And then the rest we have definitely seen before. I'm wondering if this is a new Anastasia lipstick shade here because I don't recognize it. It's in the shade Stargazer and it looks like a hot pink. We see quite a few of them here. I don't really go through them very often because they're always here. This one is $6.99. But it looks like they have quite a few. There's Dread, Peachy, Cotton Candy, and Dusty Mauve. They're also doing tons of Makeup Revolution restocks. They literally have like 20 of this fierce palette so i wanted to mention that if you're looking for the makeup revelation they should be trickling in the stores again if you missed it last time these are 4.99 but i won't go over those too much since i already did like a whole video with their stuff i'm seeing the same things nothing really new from them well, someone on instagram find these adorable nails and i was like oh i wonder if my store has them and they do i feel like this is pretty popular but i love these this is the cherry on top reusable square nails and it does come with glue and I love the cherry print on these. These are so much fun. This is going for $7.99. I'm really curious in getting these to try them out. I think this is the only ones they have so far from the brand. I tried like the Kiss ones and I tried to cut them because I do not like super long nails and it just did not work out. So I don't know if this would work either. 
but I'm very curious. You guys will have to let me know if you guys have tried them. Basically, I'm wondering if you can trim them down and if they'll stay. Because I feel like when I trimmed the Kiss ones, they were ruined. Look what I found, you guys. I turned over here and they had just one of these sitting out. I've seen a couple people find the OG palette and it is here. We saw the Gingerbread Extra Spicy like beginning of this year and last year. But yeah, they have the OG one. I actually saw on Instagram they're releasing a mini of this, which is pretty cute. But it looks like these are going to be popping up in stores as well if you want the original gingerbread spice, which is definitely probably my second favorite. My first favorite right now is the pumpkin spice. So this is $24.99. Pretty good, good price. I think it's usually $49. But yeah, so crazy they had just one here. I did find a cool NYX set. We're starting to see a couple more things from this brand here because they don't come very often, but I found this. It's called Love Less Disco, and it's a suede matte lip kit. You get a suede lipstick and lip liner. It looks like they're both red shades. Really cute packaging. This is going for only $3.99. Spotted this Becca set as well. Almost looked open, but then I realized it's the packaging. So this is actually really cute. I love the confetti in the background. So. Um, this is called the Your Glow To Go Primer Highlighter and Lip Kit. So yes, more Becca stuff is arriving here as well as a lot of restocks. So very exciting. This might have came out with their holiday collection last year. It is $9.99 and you get the Mini Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, a backlight priming filter, and an ultimate lipstick love in Orchid. So that is adorable. I really like this set and I think it's a good deal too. Found a couple more really cool things. Look at this. This is such a jackpot find from Lime Crime. I haven't noticed anything else new from them, but they have this whole little set. This, I've noticed that all these sets keep coming in these fun like plastic packaged stuff but look at all these liquid lipsticks I was not expecting to find this I saw it on Instagram and we usually don't get the cool stuff like this but they only had one here but these are all full sizes you get five full size lime crime liquid lipsticks in Cindy bleached which are two new ones that we've never seen here also happy Lana in the shade of Salem which is a really pretty matte brown. This is only $19.99. So good. That makes it like maybe $4 a piece. So I don't know. I think I'm going to pick this up for a friend because I feel like this is too good to pass up. I don't need it myself. Maybe I'll keep some of the shades. I don't know. And then I found one little MAC Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick. I'm always tempted by this, but I haven't bought it because it's a little on the pricier side. So let me know if you guys like this if you have oily skin. They had NC15, which I think I could definitely make it work for me. But yeah, $14.99 for this foundation stick. They also got these new Kala Lashes in the 3D Foam Ink, which have super cute packaging. This is the Clio Lights, $3.99. And they also have this Dreamy pair. They have some new Eco Tool sets as well I wanted to share, which are like a crystal collection. Really cute. This is the Find Your Balance 5 piece collection. This is $9.99. And it looks like you get four brushes and a sponge. And then they have a bunch of these, which are so cool. This is the glossy finish set that even comes with like some different, I think it's like a bobby pin with a crystal on it. It says Jade Infused Bristles for a flawless finish. This is $4.99. Here's another Eco Tools brush set. This is the Amethyst Crystal Trio. This one is $5.99. I did find two more new shades in the Anastasia Halloween glitters, which I thought we saw all of them, but I guess not. There's like a really pretty purple micro sparkle or micro glitter, and then this gorgeous pink one. So cool. This is $5.99 each. And then I did find one more NARS lipstick. This one is in Cat Fight. It's a really pretty shade. It's a matte and it's going for $7.99. At Marshalls, they had a couple more MAC lipstick shades I haven't seen yet. So we have Under the Covers, S Sexy or S -S -S Sexy. <laughs> How in the world do you even say that? And then Tress Blase and Marrakesh here. All right, guys, back at the store again. I'm seeing so much more milk stuff and they restocked the foundation. So I'm thinking if I want to pick up a different shade just in case to see which one would work for me. So this one is fair for $11.99 again. This is the blur foundation. They also have medium light, golden sand. Also seeing brand new stuff too. So we have here one of their bronzing sticks, full size. So the matte bronzer, I only have this in mini, so I'm thinking about getting this. I don't know if this shade might not work though, so I have to see if they have more. But so far I just saw this one in the shade Blaze. This is $9.99. Love their cream bronzer. 
And then, how cool is this? We found a setting powder, but it is in translucent medium. So cool, let's see how much is this, $9.99. That's an amazing deal. I think this is usually $30 or so, so wow. But yeah, they just have one shade so far, but I'll have to check my other stores and see if we can find more. And then I also found this, which is new, the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Gel. So this is a clear brow gel, so anyone can use this. It is, It says Hydro on it, but I'm pretty sure it's just obviously one shade since it's clear. And this is $5.99. We also have two of these Becca powders. We have a full-size Champagne Pop highlighter and also the Endless Summer Glow from Chrissy Teigen. For sure we saw this one before. Champagne Pop is going for $9.99. I don't know if we've seen it in the powder version, full size. And then, of course, this one as well is also $9.99. I also found this, which is kind of odd. It's a mini MAC lipstick in Chili. Kind of cute though. So this is going for only $3.99, so I guess it'd be good if you want to try it out. It says the number one best-selling lipstick in the world. Interesting. Also from Becca, I found this mini. This is a Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector from them. This is $5.99 for 0.4 ounces of products. Side note, I did see someone grabbed a Lime Crime palette before I could get to it, so there was actually a palette here. So I'm hoping that we see it at the next door too, because I'm really sad I missed it by a second. Then they also had this. This is a Blur Stick Mini. Well, we've been seeing these little minis from Milk. They do retail for $15. And they have them here for $5.99. So we're seeing like all their stuff. I'm still looking for the moisturizer because I saw that on Insta. Then I found yet another Becca highlighter. This one has really pretty packaging, but I'm pretty sure we've seen this one before. It is the Prismatic Amethyst and it's only $7.99. I don't know why this one's cheaper than the other ones for some reason. It is seriously a Becca highlight crazy over here. I also found this one in Rose Quartz, which has really pretty packaging. It says Passport to Glow, so part of their travel line, but they've always had this shade before it's really gorgeous this is $7.99 so found this one again in the shade of topaz we've seen this one before here this one is $7.99 and also from Becca they have the soft light blurring powder I think we've seen this before in the pink shade but this one is golden hour this is going for $9.99 I found another MAC shadow this one is in mulch velvet this is single going for $5.99 we also have this foundation from MAC. It's the Studio Fix Fluid. Just one shade in NC37. This is $14.99. This is 24 hour wear, buildable full matte coverage. I came over to another store and I found more of the powders in translucent light. So excited. I'm definitely gonna grab this. I, I'm seeing a lot of really good stuff today. Um, I'm kind of a powder junkie and I feel like I've bought like three translucent powders here, but I can't resist the price, so grabbing that. I saw a couple other things from Milk here. They had this eye pigment in the shade Gig for $4.99. These are really pretty cream shadows. They also have a mini highlighter as well for $4.99 in Lit. I kind of wish I bought the mini because I don't know if I'll use up the full size, but we do have the mini highlight. Found another one of the Milk lip balms, the Kush Lip Glaze. Oh wait, maybe this is actually different. This says it's a gloss, so high shine, non-sticky, hydrating gloss in the shade Rosebud. This is $5.99. I was not interested, but now that it's a gloss, I kind of am. I might pick this up. I think we've seen this steel smudge stick before either. This color is nude, so this would be amazing to put on the waterline to really brighten up the eyes. This is $3.99. They also have these liquid lipstick sets. These are from Anastasia, some new ones. We always find different sets from them, which is always fun. This is their metallic liquid lipstick set. It comes with three, it looks like minis. We get the shades Blizzard, Phantom, and Mai Tai, which I think are newer ones, probably an old holiday set. This is $12.99. It's very Christmassy colors, very cute. And then we have more from the birthday collection from First Aid Beauty. This is their facial radiance pads with the special packaging going for $14.99. And we also are seeing a couple other things here too. I don't think we've seen this retinol serum before. This is only 0.5 ounces. It's $14.99. Everything else I'm pretty sure is repeats, restocks that I've gone over before. Okay, so I'm really excited about this find. We found some new milk makeup cream blushes. We found the full size in work, which we saw the mini last week. And we also have perk as well. I love cream blush, so I'm kind of thinking about getting both. These are $8.99 each. We do have more shades too in the stick foundation. We saw more of the blur shades as well in the liquid. We have cashmere for $9.99, golden sand, nude, and then there's medium beige and also tan. 
I found a little mini highlighter in the shade Turnt. We also found that lash primer earlier, but I saw this as well. Um, this one's in the White Widow, so looks like they have a couple different ones. This is $7.99. I also found another gloss in the shade Nova for $5.99. And another one of their lipsticks in the shade Cream. And again, these are $5.99. We've only seen one other one so far. They also have that same Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Pink Haze. I wanted to mention they also have this mascara for Milk in the full size. We've seen it in the mini here. It's their Waterproof Kush Mascara and it is $9.99. I wanted to mention they have some pretty cool hair stuff. I don't go over the hair stuff too often unless it's like a brand I don't see hair very often. So I found some Verb stuff. They do sell this brand at Sephora. We have their C Shampoo and C Conditioner. I have tried the Verb Ghost Oil, which is my favorite. I don't think they have that here, but it is a nice brand. Uh, it says no parabens, no gluten, no sulfates in this. This is $10.99 each for those. They also have the Sea Texture Cream. This is $9.99, and they have this Sea Texture Spray. It's a little mini for $4.99. Super cool to see that brand here. I saw these as well. They have a clarifying shampoo, which is color safe kind of intrigued by this but of course the price is like ripped off of it <laughs> they also have a reset clarifying shampoo um i guess this would be the bigger size so this size is $19.99 and they have the repairing mask which is going for $19.99 as well but yeah kind of tempted i love trying different clarifying shampoos especially if it is color safe I would be interested in picking it up. I buy a couple things, of course, I want to share with you. I went a little crazy, let's be honest here. So I did buy another milk foundation just because I'm kind of worried that the other one I bought is going to be a little bit too light. So I think I'm going to use this. And if the other one doesn't work, I will just probably resell it on my Poshmark because I haven't really put it on my face at all. I just swatched it. I also did end up buying this Stila concealer. I wasn't going to, but then I kind of saw that this shade might actually work for me. So this is the Pixel Perfect Concealer. The shades actually are lighter than they seem. So this is in light medium. And I didn't really feel like waiting until <laughs> they got more. But as you guys can see, like that's pretty decent. Like that should match me. Blending it out, it looks like a decent shade. So these seem to run light. But yeah, this is the Pixel Perfect Concealer. If you guys are wondering kind of what that looked like. This is a fairly new release. I'm very curious if we're going to see uh, the foundation from them too in that collection. I also did end up picking up the Champagne Pop Highlight. It was $9.99. But I looked at my collection and I actually don't have this anymore i think the last one i had actually broke and this one has the beautiful limited edition packaging which i love even more so it's like this gorgeous sparkly packaging and this is a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter from becca it's so beautiful it's a little bit deeper but it's really unlike anything i have in my collection it is my most deep highlight but it is so blingy so stunning they made this in well, technically, I feel like Jaclyn Hill is the one who made this with Becca, and then they took her name off it, or she took her name off the products. I don't know what happened there, but it is stunning. So I did pick up the full size in that to have again. I did get some more milk goodies because there is so much good stuff there. So I ended up buying this lipstick. This shade is in cream. There's a couple other shades I want to get from them too, but these look so nice. They have some really good neutrals. I picked up the other one that they had, which I can't remember the name, but this is cream. They actually go on lighter than they seem. Like The packaging looks like it would be pretty dark, but on me, it seems like a nice neutral pink. I did pick up both of these glosses, which I'm thinking if I really want to keep both of them, but this is what the packaging looks like. I might give one to a friend, but I have Nova and I have Rosebud in the Lip Glaze glosses. This is a new product we saw this week. I think I want to keep Rosebud for myself, so I'm going to swatch this one for you guys and see what exactly this looks like. It has a fun metal tip applicator. These have, I think, a minty smell, and they have a nice kind of just soft finish, going to tint the lips a little bit, so... Oh my gosh, I cannot believe all these milk finds. It is insane. I also got both of these cheek tints or whatever. We also saw the bronzer, which I was so shocked. But I'm waiting to see if they have the baked shade because we only saw the blaze shade which is the darker one and i don't think that one will work so i'm waiting to see if they get the baked one but we're seeing so much stuff from them it is crazy 
So I'm on the hunt for that as well as the vegan milk moisturizer. They have a mini size popping up. I don't think the full size has been. So this is what the blush sticks look like. I was so excited to see the full sizes there. So I found the shade Work. And you guys know me. I love my cream products. These glide on so nice. This is Work. Sorry, my lighting is a little bit dull today because it is getting dark out. And then I also bought the shade Perk, which is kind of similar to work, but it's more of a corally peach. Actually, it's kind of lighter. But I think those shades are absolutely beautiful. So definitely check your stores if you guys are looking for milk. It is popping up like crazy at my stores, but people are buying it up, especially me, because I love it. Almost forgot to show you guys this, but I did end up picking up the milk powder as well. I had it on my desk because I wanted to try it out, but yeah, I could not believe they had the full-size milk blur and set powder there for $9.99. So you guys know I had to buy that. Okay, and then I think this is the last thing, but I did get a new phone case. So they never ever have like phone cases for the iPhone 8. Yes, I still have an iPhone 8 Plus. I know, old school, but I do plan on upgrading to the new one that's supposed to come out soon. So I do plan on doing that, but I did want a new case in the meantime, which I kind of realize now it's kind of dumb to buy this right now because I think the new iPhone's coming out any day now. Let me know if you guys are getting it as well, but I'm so ready for an upgrade. But I did buy this really fun rose gold case that is just a Stunning. And that was $7.99. And I ended up buying one more MAC lipstick because this shade is just gorgeous. This one is in the shade Trace Blase. And it is a beautiful neutral right here. So we have lots of fun finds. I have a pretty big haul this week. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I definitely plan on filming a TJ Maxx makeup try on, testing out. I haven't done one for a while, but I should actually have that up this week. So it might be up in the next couple of days because I am long overdue to test out these products. I've just been so busy with all the new holiday releases and stuff like that, but I want to get that up soon. So that is going to be it for today's video. Of course, let me know your exciting finds down below. Don't forget forget to subscribe if you are new and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!